And the rain's chugging it down now for race 15. The Mersey Novices Hurdle. It's a two mile four furlong grade two. Another hurdle event. Number one, the fourth phase for Joshua Thudden. Two, Argyle Fault for Jim Murray. Three, Golden Key for Dave Robertson. Four, Hilltop Fault for Jim Murray. Five, without limitations for Joshua. Six, Lana Tetter for Darren Thompson. Seven, Lusty Gray for Graham. Eight is Mr. There for Del Hinton. And nine is Noble Queen for Paul Rhodes. Look at this rain coming down. How will this not affect the Grand National? Don't worry about it. Whether it rains or not, the ground will stay the same. And we're going to be led by Lusty Grey here. And this two and a half mile hurdle, grade two. About 12 flights to take. I think it's going to be Lusty, Lusty Grey that leads them over the first. He does. They'll get over it. The rain coming down here. It's pretty heavy. To the second. Oh, and Lusty Cray went through the top of that couple and didn't get over it particularly well. The conditions not suiting many of these, but it's still Lusty Gray. Lead them into the third, along with without limitations. Jumping together out really out wide is Lan Arteta. Pushing through now is the pink silks of Mr. The. And uh, Jim Murray's Argyle Fort and Hilltop Fort, the Forts. And they're just being followed through by Noble Queen. Golden Key with nowhere to go. And the fourth phase just bouncing around at the back, looking to take a better line. So with two miles still to travel, Lusty Grey leads him into the fourth by a couple of lengths from the rest of the pack. Argyle Fault got over that well and takes up second on his own. So it's Lusty Grey and Argyle Fault. These are the one and two. Against the fence is Noble Queen. Outside of that now is Mr. The. Then we've got Hilltop Fault. Lana Tessa out wide. The two Josh Southern horses, the fourth phase and without limitations. And Golden Key has not had much luck in running. So David Robertson is just still sitting at the back with plenty of Plenty of time to get back into the race. It's Lusty Grey that's gone bowling off into the lead and takes him over the fifth. Very unusual front runner for, for Graham. It's Lusty Grey from Noble Queen. Over the sixth, 50% of the flights are done. That'll be the last next time round. We go past the grandstand. Plenty of people gone inside now. The rain coming down. We're having a pint or a Pims. Maybe not in this rain. In fact, in Liverpool, they're probably just stealing off each other. But it's Lusty Grey that leads. From Noble Queen and Mr. There. Then we've got Lano Teta. That's my mate, the Scouser. Agar Fort, the fourth phase, and without limitations, and Golden Key. Put up front, it's Lusty Grey still from Noble Queen of Hill Top Four. It's all about the crack. Now Scousers are funny. They will nick anything. But it's Lusty Grey from Hill Top Four. Noble Queen. Argyle Fort. And the outside is the fourth phase. They're about a length back to without limitations. Mr. The Golden Key and Lano Teta. I'm not sure if I'm coming out of Scouse there into some kind of northern thing, but up front it's Hill Top Fort now. That takes it up from Lusty Grey. A long time lead up. Argyle Fort in third. And the fourth phase of Noble Queen out wide without limitations. They go over the seventh. Hilltop Fort was a little bad on landing. There's now Lusty Grey to come up alongside the inside. So Hilltop Fort, Lusty Grey, Argyle Fort. The fourth phase and without limitations will stream over the eighth. One well, right in the rear now is Lan Arteta. But up front, Hilltop Fort's taken up on his own now. We're going to the ninth. Three left to take. And it's still Hilltop Fort being joined again by Lusty Grey. Although Lusty Grey just run up the rear of him, as has Noble Queen done, but Noble Queen pushes out to get better position. So Hilltop Fort, Noble Queen now from Lusty Grey on the inside. Moving really well on the outside. Now we're plenty of room. It's Golden Key and looking very ornery. They come down to the final half mile and they get over the tenth. It's Hilltop Fort from Golden Key pushing through again is Lusty Grey. He won't give up this lead and it's Lusty Grey noses in front again from Hilltop Fort. Golden Key, Noble Queen, Mr. The all running on our goal fault without limitations. The fourth phase and Lanateta a doubt's going to win from there but he's got three furlongs to find out. It's Lusty Grey now challenged again by Hilltop Fort on the inside. On the outside is Golden Key running well. Mr. The does one pace and they get over the 
last, second to last, and it's Hilltop Fault that jumped it best. Lusty Grey goes backward. Golden Key tries to change down Hilltop Fault as they get to the last. They're over it a little bit slow, Golden Key. But out again, come here comes Lusty Grey again. But no, it's going to be Hilltop Fault. Inside the final half, they're going to have to sprout wings to just catch him now. And it's Hilltop Fault from Golden Key that's going to run on into second. Lusty Grey may well earn on to third, but I think he's going to get pipped into third by Noble Queen and gets fourth position. So the Mersey Novices Grade 2 hurdle goes to Hilltop Fort for Jim Murray. Well done. Second was Golden Key for David Robertson. Third was Noble Queen for Paul Rhodes. Fourth was Lusty Grey for Pontypool Racing. And fifth was the fourth phase for Joshua Sutherland.